Another way that you can use buttons to control where the action in a scene is going is using named frames. I've set up another version of a slideshow where it's all in one scene. And I have three buttons, and if you click on a button, it will move you to the color that the button represents. In this initial frame, we have a stop statement, and there's no button here. When you click on any, it should take you to that frame. To name a frame, I have a layer that says Labels, and I have created a keyframe each place I want a label to occur. In the Properties tab, I can put in Labels. I'll call this one Blue, and you'll notice that it appears right here. The next one I will call Brown, and the final one I will call Green. We can then use those labels in our action script. Which I will pull up by scrolling down here. You can also hit F9 if you're on a PC. And you'll see that I've this already written. My first line, I have a stop statement. As I've shown you in previous videos, we added an event listener for the mouse click function. Go to blue, and it will go to and stop blue. This is the name of the frame. If you just have a name in quotes, it's looking for the named frame. You could have also just put in a frame number. And when we test this, you'll see that we can navigate easily in the slideshow. This is an example of what you're going to do for your homework, and you can choose whether you want to use scenes or named frames, whichever you prefer. But I'd like you to have five buttons as thumbnails that you, where you'll create your own button to take you to five different images. This is what you need to do for next week. When you create your homework, you'll hand the SWIFT in in the discussion board, and you can use the discussion area to ask any questions, and I do want you to comment on what other people did. Ask them questions, ask questions if you need help, and comment on others' work. And then I want you to hand in the FLA file in the Assignments folder.